Hello. <laughs> and welcome to Whip Wednesday. How you guys doing? How is your... Oh, hi, Harvey. How is... <laughs> he just like ran into the room because he heard me say something. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Uh, I don't have any updates. I'm just ready to crochet. It might not be a super long stream just because I do have to still uh, watch an episode of something for the podcast recording I have to do tonight. So it's just like, you know, <laughs> we'll see how long we go. But we'll have a good time. Are you going to come hang out with us? Do you want to say hi? Come here. Wait, wait, no, wait, come here. Come here. Oh. <sighs> Harvey decided that he wanted to say hello to you guys right at the beginning of stream. So say hello. <laughs> and if you haven't met him, this is Harvey. He's the best little boy. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Go ahead. Go see what dad's doing. Uh, <laughs> but there he is. He might join us. He might not. We'll see. We can always turn on his camera. But today... We're going back to the D20 sweater, or the hexagon sweater, whatever you want to call it, but I am using a D20 to determine the colors that we will be doing each row. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't done this in a few weeks now. Um, so, I will have to, like, remember the pattern. <laughs> See where we're at, and get right back into it. Uh, I know that we're getting close to being done with, like, the one side. And then we'll start the next side. I think there's... How many? What, what are we on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're on 6... Well, we're on 17 of 20. And then we have to see the size of it at that point to, like, determine whether we need to go any more rows for sizing. So I think we're in a good spot. Do I wish this was done already? Yeah. Um... It's my own fault that it's not, but still. And I do think, let me check. I want to make sure that it's up there. Did I? Oh, I, did, I, I, I turned it off. I will turn it on, but you guys will be able to roll for color at any point in time. Somehow you guys have done it where, like, it goes half and half in the colors, and it's kind of hilarious, and I love that. But let me make sure I turn that back on for you. And that's going to be through channel points, by the way. So you, put, you use your channel points. You can change the color. All of that fun stuff. So I think I might just get right into it today. All of a sudden, it got, like, really warm in my office. And I'm just like, okay, wasn't expecting that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it is on. Am I, am I just like, no, it's right there. It's like the, it's in the first row and somehow I completely missed it. That's fine. So it's for the 300 points. looks like a, a it looks like a 20 sided die. Either like this or one of these little guys right there. <laughs> so first we're going to be rolling our D6 though to do the neutral row. And then we'll continue on from there and we're gonna have some fun with this as you can see it's gorgeous it's got some great colors in it it's beautiful i'm ready to continue i hope you guys are too if you guys are working on any fun projects today though like tell me about them what are you up to would love to hear it i also have myself a lovely cup of tea it's just my favorite do i continuously think about stardew valley yes <laughs> have I been thinking about that a lot lately? Yeah. Which actually, if anybody here is also like a... I, I'm thinking it might just be a streamer thing, but um, I may open it up to our community. Um, if you guys are interested in doing a Stardew Valley speedrun competition or be a part of it in May, I'm putting together stuff <laughs> for that. It's just... Keep it in mind. I know it's only it's still only the end of March, but May is coming up very quickly. And I gotta make sure I have everything set for that, because it can be a little difficult. Alright. I had my sip of tea. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Where am I? 
This is the question. So we're on row 17, and according to our lovely pattern here, I have to repeat round three, which is going to be this more um, lacy looking round right here, right? But we're going to do it with a neutral tone, because every... F I made it so that, like, you have three rows of color, and then the fourth row is going to be some sort of neutral tone. So let me grab a lovely die here, roll it, and it's number two. And number two is black. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We have our color. We're getting right back into it. Where's my, where's my three? Perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's this is the one where it's just like the. We start off with a chain four. So let's get this guy on here, and get started. Perfect. I'm excited to have this because I think it will be something I can wear even on like just cool nights in the spring and summer as long as we can get it done. Otherwise, you know what? If I have it for the fall, it's great too. That's great too. <laughs> I feel like it's taken so long to get here. All right, it says to skip one double crochet and then crochet into the next one. So it looks like right on here. Yeah, so I think this is just a chain one and double crochet, right? Perfect. This is what I mean by I have to like get back into knowing what I'm doing because the pattern does go like every other row and on the next row I have to remember to decrease at the beginning otherwise I will have to redo that entire row and these rows are going to be long and obnoxious and... <laughs> I don't want to have to frog anything at this point. Like, it didn't matter when it was a lot closer to the center of our hexagon. But at this point, I hate it. I would hate it. All right. Also, sorry I was a little late. I wanted to uh, make a cup of tea. As I was saying, I had made myself a lovely cup of tea, and then Harvey wanted attention. <laughs> And how can I say no to that adorable face? <laughs> okay, so I believe we want to make sure to do this one here. Then the inside, right? I should probably check on this one. Okay, what is what is the corner? We chain two in the corner. Always chain two in the corner. And then it's just one double crochet, right? Yes. Okay. See? See, I'm already remembering. I already got this. I don't have to worry about these things. Muscle memory, right? <laughs> I love muscle memory. I feel like that happens a lot too with like specific patterns, especially if you're making something over and over again, whether it be just making the same pattern over and over again, or making like a bunch of squares to put together, you get that muscle memory and then it's just like, you can just do it without even thinking or looking. Fun times. I don't know why it feels like I haven't crocheted with you guys in a while. Did I not crochet last? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We just did Stardew. It was just only Stardew. <laughs> oh, so it has been a couple of weeks, which is fine. I was debating on having today be the charts day. But I might have you guys pick out a few charts that you find, like, interesting. And then we can make them together. So if you have any, like, crochet charts that, were like, look tricky to you or... 
you're curious as to how it's like interpreted or something like that, like oh, feel free, like throw them in the Discord because I would love to look at them. I, I found a bunch that I thought would be kind of fun to make together. So maybe that's what we'll do next week. We'll work on some charts. Because then we can make some cute stuff out of them too. A lot of the times I feel like they're motifs when it comes to like charts, but we always can find ways of making them into something else, right? I kind of like the, um, the randomness of this is perfect, and I love that I don't actually have to choose the color myself. <laughs> Because actually, the, the way that the, the colors are turning out and working together looks so good, and it makes me happy. And I can't even, like, pat myself on the back for that one. I, I mean, I picked the colors. Yes, true. But the, the D20 actually picks our colors. <laughs> the D20 is actually the one that's going, yes, this is the next one. This will look perfect. I didn't go through to see, oh, did we miss any, like, or do we use all of the colors yet? Like, ha what's the colors that we haven't used? I kind of want to go through and check. Because it would be really funny if somehow we don't even use one of the colors. I feel like at that point I would end up either putting them into like a square that it would go down the back if we need to have the extra width. Which we might. I have like bulkier shoulders. I have wider shoulders. It might. It, we might have to. <laughs> But I thought it would be really cute to do the the squares down the back. And we talked about this when we first were going over the pattern and what I was debating on having it do. But I still think the paw prints going up the back would be really, really cute and fun. And kind of very representative of uh, the lazy pupness of our our stream together. We go and if you guys did want the pattern it is under exclamation mark pattern so feel free to grab that I know there's like a ton of different hexagon uh, sweaters or cardigan patterns out there this one I liked just because it had like a few different like stitches and the rows were a bit you know, different, gave it a, gave it some interest. You could even do this with just granny squares, like the granny square style. It would have to be a hexagon, but like the style would be really cute. Also, sorry if you can hear a lawnmower. It's kind of quiet, but just in case. <laughs> Just in case. So I think on this one we want to double crochet. Oh no, it is, it's the same thing. I have not changed to the new row, right? You are still in the same row. I don't know why all of a sudden I was like, okay, now so I have to double crochet twice. No. We are still doing the same thing. Hello, Lemon. How did I learn to crochet? So when I was a kid, <laughs> I was like a little kid when I learned, uh, my grandmother taught me. But that, that is how you spell it. Um, oopsies. I learned many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> and I kind of just um, fell in love with it and never wanted to stop. And it's like, here we are. Yeah, but my grandmother taught me, and then pretty much if anything new came up, I could ask her, or I would look, like, I had, like, some books. I pro I still have the books. You guys probably could see the red bag that's behind me. Actually, it's kind of blocked now. I have so many pattern books and stuff 
from when I was a kid that I would look at to to learn different things. And then once, like, you know, the internet stuff was a little bit more prevalent and people were putting way more online, you know, you could look it up that way, too. And you could find websites and um, do that. And that, that that's mainly what I would do. But originally, my lovely grandmother taught me. <laughs> she first taught, actually, it was, it's f kind of funny because she first taught me to knit. And I remember, like, I knitted, um, like, a tiny scarf for my doll. I had knitted some squares to like put together and sew together um I, pretty much just for practicing but i was doing that and then once she taught me to crochet i was just like i like this better this is this is calling to me i love this <laughs> uh which is still fun and i still love getting to show her all of my stuff and now that I'm, like, trying to get into embroidery, she's all excited that I, I still like to try new things, and it's just fun. I think at this point, my craft room might rival hers. <laughs> to an extent. Uh, I want to get back into, like, doing more sewing and stuff. She does a lot more sewing. And... I started to, and then like I shy a little bit away from it. I don't know why. I think it's just because I am so confident when it comes to crochet that it's just like, oh boy. You pick up something else and you're just like, I'm not as confident. And then you shy away from it a little bit. <laughs> so I definitely have a few patterns and like some fabric and stuff that I I need to work on. But I have all, I have all the hobbies, you know? You gotta give everything a little bit of time and love and patience. <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of funny because my mom does not crochet. Uh, my mom's mom, my grandmother on that side, she she did so, and I I don't know if she did a lot of knitting or crocheting. I think it was mostly sewing. And then my, but my grandmother on my dad's side, uh, was like, she's the one who taught me most of it. My mom does not do it. She's a crafter. She is an amazing crafter at heart. Like she does so much crap. She does like, she makes everything. Even when I was growing up, we made like everything. We did so many crafts together. So it's funny, but she does not crochet. She's not like to crochet. I tried to teach her. And she has the silliest and cutest wonky hat um, that you can't really wear as a hat because it just doesn't really work. But it's just funny because she's so good at crafting. And then she's just like, nah, crocheting's not my thing. <laughs> but I do love that there's like a lot of crafty people in the family. It's probably why I like to dabble. There's just all sorts of different things people like to do. And I'm just like, ooh, I want to try. I want to try. What's that one? I want to try. <laughs> Oopsies. No, that's right. Why does that... Did I miss a stitch? Something is off because Hold on a second. <laughs> what did I do? Cuz I should be crocheting into this one here and then the corner. But that would either imply I didn't skip a stitch or I skipped too many stitches. 
Unless I missed one on the row below, which is possible. And if so, I'm probably just not going to worry about it. But I want to make sure I have the right number of stitches. Wait, what did I do silly? What did I do silly? Mm -hmm. I can't... Is it this one? No, because that one's fine. Okay, let me make sure I have the right number on the side because this one didn't have a decrease row. Neither does this one. So let's just make sure. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put it next to it, and we're just going to let it be. Look, you guys know it's there. I know it's there, but we don't have to talk about it. I just didn't get to skip a stitch for some reason. I don't know why. I don't even understand what happened there, because I'm still looking at this going, no, that's right, and no, it doesn't look like I missed anything on that last row, so... It's hidden in there. It works out. And we can move on. What it, what have we said before? We put a mistake in every project because you put your heart and soul into everything and your heart and soul needs to a place to escape. <laughs> I still love that. I still loved seeing that. That it's like one of those little things where it's like, yeah, you make a mistake and you should do it on purpose or you can do it on accident. It's totally fine. Either way, you're leaving a space for your soul to escape because you shove it all in there while you're working on it. <laughs> I like it. That's fine. It's gonna bug me. I think it'll be okay though. I'm not- it'll be fine. Improvise. Improvise and get through it. I don't even know how many rows we're gonna get through. This this is the this is the hard part because these are gonna keep taking longer and longer as we go around. So this might take me a full half hour just to get around the one row, which is just like can we not <laughs> can we not take a half hour to get around one row? But it look it's not my fault. It's just the way this works. What are you doing back there, Harvey? I hear you. He was getting to enjoy the sun today. It first looked like it was going to be a la another lazy day because yesterday was all rainy. But then the sun came out and he was just like, yes, I'm so happy and excited. It's all he wanted. Which I actually wasn't... I wasn't upset about that either. You know, sometimes it's nice just to have that sun. And when it came out, everything looked greener. And I was just like, oh, spring is here. Like, I just realized, like, oh, the grass looks greener. Stuff is starting to look greener. And I'm like, it's coming back alive. <laughs> Always a good feeling. So now it's, of course, making me really excited to do gardening. I keep getting all of these gardening tips now through like Instagram and everything. And I was just like, ooh, look at this one. <laughs> Which I might try this new thing. Uh, well, I don't, I, think, I don't think it's a new thing, but I might try it. It'll be new for me where I grow my cucumbers vertically. So I'll have like a piping that goes over them. And then strings that hang down. And I was thinking, I was like, I could 3D print the clips so that they're like a nice size and everything. 
Uh, but I was just like, oh, this could be fun to try it that way. So then the strings, like, you kind of pull them and then the clips keep the stalks going straight up. So instead of them vining across the ground, it'll be kind of cool. I just got one. It was a it was a birthday present. I think my dad was way too excited to give me this. Um, <laughs> so I just got one. I made a few fun things. Here, I can show you. And I really want to incorporate it with, like, my crocheting and stuff, which sounds kind of weird, like, how are you going to do that? But I, 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 have, I have thoughts, but I have to, like, learn design software to, to make the 3D objects. But when we were, like, practicing getting it to work and everything, and I finally found, like, a good spot for it in my office, um... So here's my a, an adorable little Junimo. This was like the last thing I had made um, after we got everything to function properly. But this was my first one, was the maze that came with it. <laughs> Very silly. I was making everything so small. Uh, made a cute, act, like a little chubby baby axolotl. Way too adorable. And then this one was cool. This one's a articulated bear. And it printed this way. So it like you can see how it like moves and folds. It just printed that way. I didn't have to clip anything together. It was just already, already like that. And I like love how that works. It's really cool. So I'm having fun. <laughs> Again, I love to dabble and learn new things all the time. So it's another one of those things where it's like, okay, now I have to learn... Uh, how to create 3D objects in um, software. I guess I can put them over here so they're like in the background. But it's pretty cool. It's 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 neat the way it works, and I'm excited about it. Go that go there. But I think they keep he kept hearing me talk about how I wanted one. <laughs> My dad has the same one. He's like, I got the same version as mine. I was like, cool, love it. So now we can like collaborate on it. But I was like, oh, I could make stuff in the garden. You know, I could make like little signs or I could make uh, like the clips and stuff for my garden. Maybe cute little decorative pieces. I have way too many ideas. <laughs> We'll see how it pans out, though, because uh, it's it's really fun. It does take forever. It is not, like, instantaneous, but I honestly love watching it uh, build. I love watching it build. Just little layers at a time. My dad is also a, um, a, a tech nerd, <laughs> so it, it works out. It works out. <laughs> it's his fault that I'm in computers. Okay. But yes, garden, cucumbers, they're going to be like vertical this time. And it, like they just hang then. And I'm curious how that will work. So I'm hoping we, to try it. My husband was like, oh, I think we can just get like some PVC pipe and get it to work. I'm like, cool, fun. <laughs> so now we're like, okay, what else besides cucumbers could we grow on a vertical thing like that? So we're playing around with different ideas. <laughs> I love growing. Craft mom and a dad that likes tech. Your family sounds great just from that. Oh my god. We're a bunch of nerds. It's great. <laughs> it's 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 a it's great. I love it. I do. He's you know, I, I always talk about this too. It's just like he's he's the one who uh, introduced my brother and I to to video games. He was one of the first people to play Doom when it first, you know, hit those share drives <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> and 
And then my, you, there's a picture of me playing Doom as a baby. It's hilarious. Bunch of nerds. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Any drink, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? I mean, this is, I mean, I am calling this a D20 sweater. <laughs> I feel like it's just obvious at this point. Uh, it's great. Let's see. We're almost back around. I think we have one more side to go. Two more sides to go. All right, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Has it, has it taken me like a half hour? Yeah, it has. All right. See, I told you. What did I say? It's going to take me over a half hour to get through <laughs> one row. Obnoxious. It's totally fine. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. I say it a lot. And we just roll with it. Are you a fellow crafter or fellow nerd since we are like nerding out over everything? Tell us all about it. If anybody's working on some fun whips for Whip Wednesday, what you working on? Uh, there we go. All of a sudden, I realized I'm, like, hungry. <laughs> I don't know why. I do not want to... I don't, I don't want to be hungry right now. I'm good. Maybe I just need some water. Get myself a little bit more hydrated. Stop snacking. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. My blueberry plant, though, and my lemon tree, are, I think, are so happy to be outside at this point. I saw, I, I, I said this the other day, but there were bees around my, my lemon tree, and I was so excited that I saw, like, some bumblebees. I was like, yes! You're here! <laughs> Pollinate the lemon tree! Make it happy! So I'm hoping they're doing their job. I also was like going around though with like with a Q-tip and pollinating it whenever the flowers were out. So I'm excited for a full tree of lemons. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. The blueberry bush, though, all these new leaves now. I'm also excited to see what that guy does. But everything else, we've waited just a little bit longer before we're going to actually get the rest of the flowers and plants we want for the yard. But it's still always a fun time. I'm a, I'm a bit obsessed at this point, I feel like, with my, my lovely plants. Yeah, everything looks fine there. I don't know what I did. Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> I was like, what did I do with my sticky note? I remember I was like, oh, I had like sticky note for keeping track of the colors and everything. I'm like, what did I do with that? I turn, it's just sitting right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, it actually hasn't moved. I thought I had put all of the stuff together. And then I was like, oh, it's not in my pile. Luckily, not far away, though. Not far. Let's 
We'll be rolling the d20 then on this next row. To get our next color. I'm not sure what we're going to end, end up with. But... I will uh, I will re-roll if we end up with the same color because I always want it to be something different. <laughs> if it does every other row, fine, but I want to make sure that they're not right up against each other. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. I like this pattern a lot. I think it's uh it's really cute. <laughs> I'm actually working on a few more designs for other stuff too. I have like this whole basket of whips. That need to get sewn together so i need to work on that but then i was like oh i could i could design some more stuff and trying to to figure out what i want to make them into so we'll see where that goes and hopefully we'll see if i can work on it together with you guys or if it'll just be like my own little side projects <laughs> and i'll just show them off once i get to a certain point but I'm having fun. I I I love crocheting, so it's it's hard for me not to have fun when I do it. <laughs> but I'm trying to to build up a bit of a supply is what I'm kind of going for because if I can get some inventory going and if I can ever get myself to a show this year, that's that's a that's a goal. That's a goal for this year. I haven't done a show in so long. Many years now, which is kind of sad because I miss doing them. Those were so much fun to do, is going to shows and see people and see other people's crafts and sell. And my favorite part is always just, just making somebody smile with something I've made. Which sounds really corny, um, but it's also true. <laughs> Sometimes the silly, corny things are the best. Oh, yes, like a like a craft show. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, exactly. Like an art so show, craft show. Mm-hmm. I love, I love working at those. I've done... I've done a handful in the past. <laughs> I guess I should say it like that. And not all of them are great. You know... You find you find places that you love going to and you're just like, yes, this is the one. This is the one I would do every year. And then there's other places where it's like, I will never come to this place again. Because you there's either zero foot traffic, they have like no marketing for it, it just doesn't work out really well. You're just like, yeah, I'm not I can't do this again. Because sometimes they're really expensive, you know? You have to pay for the space to actually be there. And it's just like, oof, it's you gotta make it worth it. You're imagining like a county fair or something. I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> if they have a craft show section, let's go. 100%. <laughs> a lot of the events where I live, uh, sometimes they're, they have nothing to do with the crafts, but they always have craft booths. Always. <laughs> and I love that. So I'm like, I need to get in on this. I need to get in on these craft shows. <laughs> So hopefully I can find one that, that's going to be worth it. Okay. All right. Any place your bets now? Because I only have a few more stitches what's gonna be the next color is it gonna be a a shade of blue green or purple because those are the the three main colors that i have on our lovely list what number do you think i'm gonna roll 
Okay, and then that should just slip stitch right there. Beautiful. Lovely. Tis so pretty. And yes, the way it looks here, it's supposed to, because what it's happening is it's decreasing on this side. It's also increasing, but it's like pretty much staying the same size along the top now. And the reason that it kind of looks wonky and I can't get it to stay flat to show you that it doesn't have six sides is because it's like the way it grows. But then when we fold it, I'll show you what happens. Because if, if you guys haven't seen this pattern, and it's been a bit since we've been working on it, but you fold it into a lovely L shape. What was, oh, I can't zoom out anymore. Well, <laughs> this side is the arm. So I guess if I hold it this way, this is the arm. This is the body. So you fold it into one side, and then we'll make a second hexagon on the other side and then sew them together one seam well one seam together to, like but you have to sew like the tops of the the arm as well and then that's it so like i even can show you which is the cool part about this <laughs> i might be able to show you <laughs> it's not awkward it kind of goes like this to hold it a little bit if you can see so like the arm and then this is going to be the body oops i don't have it like on completely and it's still going to get a little bit longer in this front because that's where it needs to be longer we have three more rows for like the main base uh of the pattern and then you kind of go with the with the size of of the sweater you want it the, this one shows like from from small to 7x and it shows like how many more rows you'd want to have to to get to that size we probably will only do because i'm also using a thicker yarn we might only have to use like two two more rows after that two or three but we'll do some measuring and making sure everything feels good before we move on to the next part because <laughs> there's also going to be some extra pieces on the bottom to make it longer and then like i was saying so that it doesn't feel like it's really snug around the sides i probably will put some squares down the back as well all right now it's time to roll for the color Do -do. Two. The next color is two, which is like a royal blue. It's actually this color. <laughs> it's this one. It's like a royal blue color. I don't think we've used this, have we? We haven't. It's a new color. Ooh, I love when we get a new color. We've had... A few colors that got to be on here multiple times already, but we got a new color now. And a lot of this is like scrap yarn. So they're like this size. <laughs> and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I have enough for the entire thing. Otherwise it might be um, even more scrappy looking, which is, you know, it's okay. I think that's that's kind of the idea, right? Use up some scrap yarn, get something really cute out of this. I like it. Okay. Oh boy. Can I not pull from the center on this guy? It's gonna be a really mess. No, I think we're okay. Ooh, okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Trying to keep my station just a little bit neater. So 
we don't end up with tons and tons of yarn gracing our presence up here. Okay. So for this row, oh, I scroll down. This is now row 18. So right here, we're going to want to do a double crochet together. And I think it does. It includes this spot. There we go. Perfect. And then we just double crochet around, right? I'm checking. It's been a bit. <laughs> yep. Okay. Then you just double crochet into every double crochet and space around. Chain one space. Very simple. I can already imagine me wearing this and like reading a book and like sitting outside or going for a walk and, <laughs> and I can show off our our stream made sweater because this is this is what I'm going to call my affiliate sweater because it's got those purples and the blues and it's it's what I decided would be fun for us to do for my three-year anniversary? Oh boy. <laughs> Has it been too long? No. Never long enough. Must continue crocheting and playing games with you guys. I love how vibrant this one looks next to the other colors, but it like also blends so well. It's perfect. Okay, so this has two double crochets in the corner. I'm checking and I'm just gonna go at the same time. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> like I'm like trying to find the spot in the in the pattern. Right. that. So fun. <sighs> oh my god, it has not been that long already. Get out of here. <laughs> like, I'm like trying to pay attention to my time and this is just eating at it. This is a time eater sweater. That's what this is. One row complete time eater. have to see. I don't know if this technically gets put together with the second half before doing the bottom piece. 
or if the bottom gets done first and there's just the seam up the back. I have to check to see how that goes. Because at this point, I'm just kind of focusing on the hexagons themselves and not the, the extra parts <laughs> that come after. But maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll focus on just doing the hexagons together. Got all of our colors in here. Which one am I missing? So we've done... Oh wait, I didn't even write these down, did I? Whoopsies. So we had two, then we had... Oh, do we have two twice? I rolled two twice? <laughs> one for the neutral tone and one for the color. That's hilarious. <laughs> So we've had, I feel like we're still missing a lot of these colors that we haven't gotten to. There's a vi like, there's even more of a vibrant blue that I've picked that we haven't gotten to. There's a bunch in the middle. So we still have a lot of numbers that we can, we can use. I have a feeling it'll have to be a part of this that once I run out of a color, I'll have to like just cross it off if I don't have any more of it in my stash. I'm like, if I'm completely out of that color, I'll have to just cross it off and then we'll just have to go with whatever's left. And if we ever roll that number again, we just roll again. <laughs> Because if we just keep rolling the same numbers, I I might run out before we before we finish. We'll have to see. Always a possibility. I was trying to figure out uh, some more storage ideas for my office. And I had made a scrap basket for one of my shelves because it's like just like an open shelf. And I like how yarn looks when it's on display and it's full. But it never just looks like that all the time. You know, it, it's never going to look perfect all the time. You get that one shot of somehow getting only the full skeins of yarn together and it's perfect. And then after that, all of that yarn, mm -mm, it's not perfect anymore. <laughs> it's going to look like a mess. So I prefer having them like in square baskets. And um, the, the ones I have are full. So I have to kind of branch out into other areas or other shelving in my office right now and they're more open so I have made one basket out of scrap yarn I really like how it turned out with the color scheme and everything then my mom actually had sent me a a uh what's that Pinterest I don't even know if it was a Pinterest or if she saw something on YouTube and she's like look how cute this is and it was the person took like a sunset picture they found the yarns to go with it and like they made like a gradient of that and made it look like the sunset colors and I was like ooh, I have so many sunset pictures and I know that's what she was thinking of that I have like so many sunset pictures and she's like you could totally do this <laughs> and I'm like honestly I probably should I could take like some pictures and get like the color schemes from them and make a basket that goes with it and I can use it for storage in my office. I might I might just do it. <laughs> Cause I need more storage. I am desperate to like find proper ways of storing all of my my art stuff, my tech stuff, and everything that's in here. Harvey's little area. Cause of course he has to have a spot. <laughs> He has two spots in my office. He has the w a window seat that's be like behind this, 
behind me. And then there's the spot under my desk that he he loves to lay in, in all the time. So that's why his he has one bed under there. He is spoiled as can be. Definitely a spoiled pupper. Because he has a spot in every room. <laughs> But I kind of want to like steal his section over there just to make it a little bit more organized. But I don't know. I can't. I can't bring myself to remove his window seat. I always saw those like giant um, craft holders, like I like their cabinets. They're like massive cabinets that you can like open, and then like the doors open, and then there's drawers, and then like a table folds out. And I'm like, do I want one? <laughs> like they're outrageously expensive, but would it actually be a useful thing for me? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe one day, but for now, I just have what I have in my office. I still need a, I still need to paint this, paint this dresser. I have probably said this way too many times since moving in here and having this dresser, but I want, I just have like a dresser with like drawers, and it's just wood color. It's like a dark, like a reddish wood color. And it doesn't really match my room, and it looks kind of old and outdated. And what I want to do is paint it white with, like, and then make, like, this color wood on the top. So it has, like, that, like, soft color. And then the rest is white. And then maybe even put, like, some stenciling on it or, like, make some fun or, like, have some fun uh, handles and things. I have said this every year, and I still haven't done it. I think this is it. I think this is going to be the year I do it. <laughs> But it holds like my fabric and stuff for sewing. It's real. It's useful. I like how it works and how it holds all of my stuff nice. But it just—it's an eyesore. It just doesn't match the room. So I think I just need to bite the bullet, grab the paints, go for it. Because I think the bigger issue is that I'm gonna have to take everything out of it. Move it to the garage and then paint it because I don't, it's, it would, no. <laughs> there is no way I could do it in this room and not make a massive mess. So it'd have to go out somewhere that it can like dry and the fumes can do their thing. I think I'm just dreading have to having to pull it all out but just do it just do it get it done it'll look great you'll feel so much better about it maybe i could make that my background for you guys <laughs> you never know or it, i could do a horrible job and it'll look really ugly and i won't even show you i'll ne you'll never know could be the other uh Thing that happens. Hopefully not, because I'd rather it look really nice, but... I don't usually do giant furniture pieces. <laughs> okay. Gotten around a couple si sides now with this color. Keep us our keep ourselves going. I see we're in an ad break, so make sure you guys are doing some stretches. If you're doing, if you're crafting, if you're crocheting, if you're knitting, if you're gluing stuff together, if you're drawing, give your wrists a break. You know, stretch them out. Get something to hydrate. Snack. Stretch. Get up. Move around. I'm not going to because this thing is going to take me way too long. I just got to keep going. I promise you're not really missing anything. <laughs> I think 
I love it and I hate it. I f I'm feeling impatient. I had to work on this today, though. You know, it's 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 one of those things where it's like, oh my god, I'm still not done with that. And it's like, well, I only get to work on it like once every every little while, and it's just like it just keeps getting longer to work on. Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out during the ad. I hope you got a good stretch or some water or a snack. You're working on a project. How's it going? <laughs> I am just trying to move on this guy. I want it done. I want to wear it. I want to put it on. I'm, I'm too excited about it. I think it's going to be super cute. go I almost was going to start working on this earlier this this morning and then I was like ah I don't really have time and I was like working on a bunch of other work stuff and didn't think that was going to be a good idea but I knew I had to be a little earlier today with you guys So I had more time tonight, <laughs> but it's all right. It works out. It's going to work out anyways. The black next to this blue makes it even more like vibrant to me. It makes it pop. It's very cool. I think I have a, I don't think, we haven't used the, the more vibrant purple. The green we have. This is like, I would call like the, the vi more vibrant green that I, I chose for this one. I didn't choose like a hunter green or anything like that. More of like a tealy, tealy color. I guess it's really close to my nail color now that I'm looking at it in the camera. I actually saw a cute pattern for a bunny and I, of course I'm seeing a ton of patterns for like bunnies and chicks and everything because of uh, Easter but there was this cute bunny and I was like oh I might need to make that it was uh it was like a round bunny right ears and it had a cute face but it was just like round but then they put little pieces around it that were crocheted to make it look like a yarn ball and then they crocheted a little crochet hook for it. And I was like, no, that's too cute. And now I want one. <laughs> I'm like, now I want one. They actually had a bunch for different holidays, but that was like, that's like the one that popped out to me. I was like, of course it is. Of course it is. Cause I need it. this a little bit it's to a point where I have to like adjust the whole thing because of how big it's gotten blankets do the same thing after a while you're like making it and if you're making it where it's um all together like and you're just making it bigger and bigger 
instead of like the squares or anything that go together and sewn together. One, it's a good thing for like a cold day because your your project is your blanket. But two can also be kind of obnoxious when you have to like turn it <laughs> all the time. Or if it has like multiple colors and oh my gosh, it can become th the biggest mess. I was almost going to do two strands for this one and make it really like super bulky. I'm almost happy we didn't. I think it's better this way where it's just more clean lines, but I was I almost did it. I'm also debate debating on I think I think it would be too warm. I think that's what it is. I think it would be too warm if I did it that way. This one it makes it a little bit more airy, a little less heavy. It would just have like a neat look to it if we ended up doing like roll two times and see what the colors are that start off together. I feel like I'm hearing Sonic music and all I keep thinking is I'm just like, yep, that I'm I'm thinking about how I have to go faster and faster and just keep going. <laughs> you can do this. Feels almost like a race. I do want to do that at some point. Where I can get some of my lovely crafty friends. Because we have we actually have a lot of crafty people in our community. And I just want to like crochet with them. But then turn it into a competition. Because why not? Let's just turn everything into a competition. And then laugh and have a good time together. I think that's the best way to do it. Because <laughs> I would be laughing the whole time. I'd be like, oh my god. And then I'd have to like frog and be like, no. And then <laughs> it'd be extremely overdramatic and so much fun at the same time. Two more sides left. There we go. Looking good, looking good. It's like you can only see, see how it has actually six sides. Every time it folds in on itself, it does look more like a Pentagon. And it's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't mess that up. It is six sides, we're okay. <laughs> Every time. It's neat how it does, like, fold on itself, though, to make that L shape. Almost too easily. If you're just joining us and you're working on some Whip Wednesday projects, well, I guess that's kind of a silly thing to say. Are you working on a works in project for Whip Wednesday? There we go. <laughs> what you working on? 
What kind of craft are you doing? Tell us all about it. If you want to share, there's a section in my Discord as well. You feel free to show off what you're doing. Love to see it. All I know is, I think one of my books I'm going to have to give back to the library right now. <laughs> it's what I'm listening to, and I'm like uh, almost halfway done with it, and my time with it, though, is like about to go, like, expire, and I was like, no! So I think I might see if I can't get either the ebook or like a physical book to read the rest instead of listening to it. Cause I'm just like, I'm maybe I'm faster at reading maybe. <laughs> Cause for some reason, like I've, I tried getting that book last year and the same thing happened where I couldn't get it for weeks. And I was just like, okay, great. I finally got it. Didn't get to listen to it for like a week. So that already was a bad thing. Right. And then uh, I haven't been able to like, just, non-stop listen to it i've only gotten like a half hour here and there and it's a long one so it's just like great am i gonna get through this the answer is no um unless i just sit and listen to it for an entire day <laughs> like fully so we'll see maybe tomorrow i can just have it on while i do everything else but i'm just like no i need it i don't know if you guys always have that issue I can't renew it. That's the only thing, because there's, there's too many holds on it. I don't want to wait for it again. I need to finish it. But I'm also, like, in the middle of reading, like, multiple other books, and I'm just like, oh, great. What have I done? What have I done? How, have they, how are they stacking like this on me? Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. <laughs> Hi, Potato. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome on in. Oh my gosh. How's your Wednesday? I do love that. That was that's a good one. That was a that was a perfect choice. You did use it and it was beautiful. <laughs> it's too good. And I know it's you. See? See how that works? I love that. If you if you don't know, I have walk-ons turned on for blurp. So if anybody here is a, is a sub or if you end up subbing, you get to have a fun walk-on sound. <laughs> and I think they're cool. What are you doing, Harvey? He is sitting back to back with me. I can't pet you. I can also smell you, and it sounds- it smells like you were just outside. What are you doing? Okay, he went to his chair. Never mind. I thought maybe I could coax him to go under the- the table and sit. I hear ya. Alright, almost to our next color. What do you guys think it's going to be? What number do you think I'm gonna roll between 1 and 20? What's next? I've had many uh, critical fails. <laughs> I've had a couple critical hits, but not too many. But it can be anything. And we're, we're going to be a winner, I think, at this point. 15. <gasps> Do we have, have we had 15? I don't think we've had 15. Ooh, that's like a really pretty lavender color. I love that. <laughs> well, welcome on in as well. Is it Izzy Hope? Welcome, welcome. I will roll my giant d20 and see what we end up with. I feel like that roll. No, it, that went that went just about the same amount of time. <laughs> 
think it was just about the same amount. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I got it right. Sometimes I, I read these things and I get it completely wrong. It happens. You had to ask Ashton what I meant by a D20 sweater. I see you are practicing rolling dice. Of course. I have to. I must. This is necessary. <laughs> I like how you asked Ashton. You could have just come here and asked me. <laughs> You're just like, what is this? What does this mean? So it, the it's a hexagon sweater. So it has the six sides, right? And then I have my giant D20. And we roll for every row to see hey. what color it ends up being. Hey, hey, hey. And it's so fun. You have to bug Ashton whenever you can. Honestly, yes, you do. You're right. You're right. Also, Izzy, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Thank you, thank you. Ashton des deserves to be bugged. I don't even think she's here. <laughs> what a loser. Uh, that's not true. That's not true at all. She's fantastic. Okay. We got all of our color in for this row. Da 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 da. Oh my god. Go in. There. <laughs> Went a little too tight on that chain, apparently. Okay, here we go. And the number is... Okay, how? <laughs> how did you guess correctly? How did you say 15 and then it ends up being 15? Sorcery. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, where is it? Is it this one? I think it's this one. You don't know? I don't know either. You had it right though. That's kind of insane. <laughs> but it's 15, yay! Which is this really pretty like lavendery kind of color. Which I think actually is gonna look really nice next to the blue that popped up this last time. Good choice. Good choice, I say. I'm trying to keep track, but I'm thinking I missed a bunch of numbers on this, on my list. I'm like looking at this going, can't be right. This is what, row 18? 18. Divination wizard, honestly. It's potential. Absolute potential right there. No, 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 no. I think I'm going to do... Okay. We got our next color. Get it on there, and hopefully we have... <sighs> we can do this. You don't think so? I don't know, you could have fooled me. That was insane. <laughs> I need to make more of the my giant dice. It's been it's been years since I made this one. And I feel like I could do better one with the let the numbers. But I also want to have all of the other shapes. <laughs> Like, I need all of the other sizes. I have a whole collection of them. Is it properly balanced? I mean, look. I think it could. I honestly think it could. One, it has been coming up with different numbers each time I roll it, you know? And because I have, like, the ridges on it, I feel like it does land nicely so you can see what the what the number is going to be. So I, I think it could. It's a potential. It's 
Is it is it fully weighted like to one side or the other? No, because I'm not a cheater. <laughs> Could we potentially do that? Yeah, but am I going to? No, I'm not a cheater. Then you could uh you could let me use it in the campaign. Oh my god. I also have others. I have others. <laughs> but how fun would it be when something special happens and I go, I gotta roll the big one. We gotta bring up the bin guns here. <laughs> this is necessary. Big decisions, big dice. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Get that big dice going. Make all the decisions for me. Oh, thank you. Yes, everybody hydrate. Make sure you're you're drinking water if you're working on projects, especially. Perfect. Does chalky milk count? Yes. Of course, it helps to hydrate. I'll say yes. And it's delicious, so there. Fun fact, milk is more hydrating than water. You don't know about chalky milk though? That's a good point. Is chocolate a hydrator or a dehydrator? These are the questions we need to ask people. Now, when you say milk, is it only cow's milk? Or like goat's milk, you know, animal milk? Or does a, a little a nut juice, a nut milk, if you will, is that also hydrating? There's so many different different factors here. I would assume all animal milk would be. I, I would assume that as well. Because the other isn't really a milk. It's the juice. <laughs> it's, it's less of a milk and more of a juice. Just sounds grosser. Exactly. Nut juice. Mmm. <laughs> The sugar would be a dehydrator. That's what I'm wondering. Those added sugars. We don't tend to say, ooh, I'm parched. Let me have some chocolate milk. <laughs> Nut milk, yes. Is that worse? That's worse, isn't it? That sounds weirder. I need a jar for that one. My brain went to bad place. Hold on. <laughs> Innuendo jar. Let's add on to it. Anyways. <laughs> oh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. But funny. I'm glad we got a new color. We got two new colors today because we haven't used this one. I'm like looking around just to check. Even if we like did a roll, if you guys forced a roll, I'm like, I don't see it. So we definitely didn't have 15 before. So we haven't had 15. We haven't had two, at least for the, the, the big colors wise. I was just talking about... Uh, like, what colors haven't we seen? We might not see them at all. There's always a potential for that. The unlikelihood... I mean, I feel like that's pretty high, but... It's always an option. Alright, let's see. 
looks good. It's kind of an obnoxious project, but it's because of the amount of turning I have to do with it. It's like, all right, spin. Go. Okay. The amount of Stardew music that has been playing today, it's just teasing me. It's truly just teasing me. You should all make it a number. What do you mean? Like, like pick a number or figure out what number is going to become next. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. So we have had one, two, three. A hashtag nut milk. No! <laughs> we could. Do it. Do it right now. What's your favorite nut milk? Hashtag nut milk. We end up having two different milks, so I'll, I usually drink, like, almond milk, and I use almond milk for stuff instead. My husband drinks regular milk, so like cow's milk, and then I found out I like the... Maybe it was still an almond eggnog? See, I like eggnog. I grew up liking eggnog, but... I tried an oat eggnog and then a almond milk eggnog, and both of those are really good. Because it's a lot less, like, thick. <laughs> but I still enjoy it. You know, but I, the thing is, is I can't cook with the almond milk. I feel like it makes it too nutty. Like, you can't put almond milk in mac and cheese. It just... It's the flavor, it's a, it completely changes the palate. It's awful. <laughs> Baking wise, I always feel like it is a bit different of a consistency, too. So you have to be like careful with how you do everything. But it is definitely something you can replace. But cooking, mm mm. I just can't do like, oh, a splash of almond milk. Oh, that's what I was going to do today. Darn it! Cause speaking of baking, I wanted to make myself uh, a new sourdough starter. Cause I haven't had one in a while. The last one went bad, so I had to get rid of it, but... I was like, oh, I need to make a new sourdough starter. Because I love baking bread. It's one of my favorite things to make is, is bread. <laughs> There's something about it. I love bread. I love making bread. It makes me happy. Hashtag nut milk, oat milk, all of it. Just all of the nut milks. It's like nut butter and nut milk. to remember to to do that either in the morning or maybe I'll do it over the weekend just to make life a little easier because you have to like feed it I won't even be able to use it for like a couple of weeks Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever made a sourdough starter it's not hard but you have to remember to feed it which sounds really silly but it's true you when you feed the the starter, because it is made up of, like, bacteria and yeast and everything, right? 
you take out like half of it, you feed it some more flour and everything so that it can grow again. It do, it you break it down, it sounds kind of gross, but it makes such delicious things. <laughs> How can we say no to this? And I think if I'm wrong, Noah can either tell me I'm wrong or if Ashton's here, she'll tell me I'm wrong. Uh, isn't sourdough the one that is, like, a gluten-free type of deal? You can use sourdough and you can make, like, sourdough breads and it's, like, more of a, a gluten-free thing. I could be totally wrong, but I thought there was something with sourdough and gluten. So I feel like that's a plus for people. I just like the part where it's like you can actually share your starter because you can when you feed it if you take half of it out technically you could take that other half feed that other half in its own jar and then give that to somebody and they can have their own starter. <laughs> then you have like a friendship starter going around and all your friends can have the same same bread you're making. It's not? Oh, I thought there was something with the sourdough that it was. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not gluten. Maybe it's something else that it is. I don't know. I swear there's like some sort of property to it. <laughs> I have to look it up. You googled it. I feel like there's something with sourdough though. I don't know. I made it up. I Apparently I've just made everything completely up. <laughs> I'll have to find what I'm thinking about because there is something I, I was like there's some sort of property that I'm thinking about that like the sourdough is like oh yeah that's actually safe to eat I don't know I don't know it does have low it's low gluten maybe it's just the low gluten part it's not gluten free but it's low gluten fair I never really had to like worry about my uh, gluten intolerance. So I I try to remember some things and then it doesn't always stick. <laughs> I'm I'm apparently a big fan of gluten. Much better. Okay, you're bunching up on me again. How many how many sides have we done? Two and a half. We've done two and a half sides. Timing wise, eh, it's not the best. Faster, Rachel. <laughs> I was really hoping to get to, through row twenty. I will do my best. This was what, 19? Yeah, I think this is 19. So if we can get through this one, we can at least finish off on 20. Be great. There we go. That to the side.
I was debating on doing like a pattern for Easter. I don't think I'm going to. If I anything, I'm going to make like the cute bunny that I was talking about earlier where it looks like it's a little yarn ball. <laughs> That'll be my contribution in my house. Or I, I honestly, I have like flowers I'm making. I always just feel like anything spring is kind of the same idea. So even if I just keep making springy stuff, I'll be okay. <laughs> I didn't have anything special to make this year. Like, that's fine. They can eat it, but it still gives them the upset tummy. See, that's not good. That's the crappy part. You don't want the upset tummy. I guess it's like, it's better though, right? It's like better than full on gluten. It's a. It's a replacement. It's a it's something that you could dabble in a little bit. I feel like the purple toned down the bright blue, which is actually kind of nice. You don't want it to overpower it and take over the, the garment. But it is like a little splash of color, which is great. I say that and the entire thing is a giant splash of color, but whatever. Have you ever made homemade butter? I have not made homemade butter before. I do bread all the time. I have not tried butter. Have you? <laughs> I feel like it could be kind of fun. It is. <gasps> Have you made? Is it like a flavor of butter, or is it just like a plain, easy butter butter that you've made before? I don't know if there's like different kinds of butter besides like the different dairy being used, right? I don't. I don't know a lot about butter. <laughs> I love butter. I just don't know a lot about it. It's like I use it on everything. Tell me more. have a lot of this color now that I'm like looking at the size of it I'm just like hmm <laughs> will you last I mean it's going to last around for at least this row but it might not last if it comes up again we'll see we'll have to see I could potentially do a thing where instead of making the second side also completely random I could make it where I mirror this side and make them like the same, but I feel like having them completely random on either side is more fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I have the same two hexagons, put them together to make the sweater, or just make it random all the way, everywhere? Just completely randomized. You did it in ninth grade? That's fun. I feel like I have used, like, the old-timey butter churns and stuff when I was a kid and, like, went to the different places to learn about it. But I've never actually made my own butter before. Did I do that as a kid? Did I make my own butter as a kid? No. I don't think I have. It's like, now I'm like, pull, pull from the memory, open the bank, dust it off. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I have <laughs> complete random that's what I'm thinking too I feel like having both sides be the same would look cute and it would be like nice and consistent but at the same time I'm like why why when we have the d20 we can make it really random and fun and quirky it's got to be quirky <laughs>
I feel like I'm moving pretty, pretty well, considering. We're almost, almost to, no, we're not. <laughs> I said almost, and then I unfolded this side. I was like, oh. <sighs> we pretty much have two more sides to do, and then we'll pick out our next color. I'm kind of glad I went with a, a bit of a theme, a colors theme with this, like with the, the purples, like for Twitch, and then the blues were just because I love blue, so all like the shades of blue are for me, and then there's green in there because I thought the green actually tied them together light nicely, and it's a bit more springy then because I brought like the bright greens in there, so I'm happy I kind of went with that instead of just like everything. I, I mean, honestly, a rainbow one would be really cool. And I kind of like that it's a little bit more subtle. <laughs> All you need is a jar and heavy cream. Oh, you know what? I never thought about it that way. Is it like just like shaking the jar then? Because I feel like it needs to have that movement, right? Or is it like a immersion blender? Because that could work. Are you coming to actually stay there? Okay. We have a Harvey. Let me turn it on. Harvey has decided to grace us with his presence. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? There he is. What do you have? Do you have something? No. Okay. He's like a boy. All right, I moved my legs up here so you don't have to have my feet in your face. But you got a Harvey cam. He's a ridiculous bean. You are just completely stretched out, showing off your adorable butt. <laughs> he loves laying under there. This is why he gets a bed under my under my desk because that is one of his favorite spots to go. We always joke that he likes a Harvey cave. Because he buries himself under blankets. He likes those little cave type spots. Let's see. But anyways, I kind of want to try making butter now that you've mentioned it that way. Because I was like, huh, hmm, maybe I could try this. Maybe it could be fun. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Have some bread and homemade butter, right? Also, Mage Elise. Yes, Elise. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. How you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic Whip Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. See, it was the Harvey cam. You bring a cute little butt like that in here and everybody's just like, yes, that's the main show right there. I should make him the full screen. <laughs> it is his channel. It's Harvey's channel. I'm just, um, I just host it for him. You know, he graces us with his presence whenever he feels like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're almost around. We're getting there. We're almost there. I think I just have to keep telling myself that. I tell you guys that, and you're just like, no, you're not. And I'm like, yeah, well, I have to tell myself that. It makes me feel like, wee, we're almost there. Yay, next color. <laughs> Roll 
again. You think it's going to be a two? What is two? Okay, okay, okay. Like a blue color. Gotcha, gotcha. Any other guesses as to what number I will roll? We will be rolling the d20. So anything from one to 20 can be rolled. And I, I have my little sheet up in front of me. I don't know. You guys can't see it. It's right there. This is my sheet of colors. <laughs> I hung it up this time instead of like having it. Uh, there we go. Having it on the table. But I think it's actually kind of, it's much easier for me to see it and it's not in the way and I don't accidentally, you know, remove the threads. But, but the first, like, I don't know, what, seven numbers? The first seven are blue. Then it goes into more of, like, the aqua greeny colors. Like the, you know, right there, which is, like, eight through 13. And then, no. Pay attention. There we go. Uh, and then from 14 to 20 are more purpley colors. So that's where all of the, the different tones are at. For no particular reason. Honestly, I just kind of shoved them in. They kind of almost do a gradient. But it makes it easier for me to see. So it can be any of those numbers. I might roll a regular dice this time. You know, switch it up a little bit. Make sure no one's not yelling at me that I, I weighed my dice. <laughs> and I'm cheating. I gotta practice since we are we are gonna have a campaign starting soon. If anybody else plays Dungeons and Dragons, I have not played in years. I have been wanting to. We keep trying to like start up something, like my husband and I. And then usually people are really busy, you know, life gets in the way a little bit. We've done, like, a couple sessions here and there. But I've done more, like, Pathfinder. This is going to be a little bit different just because it is, like, actual Dungeons & Dragons version. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I can do this. Hey. I'm a hey, little hey, nervous, hey. but I can do this. <laughs> that crafty beach! Oh, come on in. <laughs> Welcome on in. Thanks so much for that follow. How you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic Whip Wednesday. Love the name. Makes me laugh. I know I'm probably driving him nuts though, because he's gonna be like not my husband's not playing this campaign. This is gonna be me and my friends, and it's like an online campaign. Um but I'm probably driving him nuts because I am being very uh, indecisive with my character. I have, like, a plan. I can't talk about it because I don't want spoilers. But I can't talk about it yet, I should say. But I'm trying to figure out what class to do. Because I have a personality. I guess I could say it could be a ranger. It could be a bard. Which... Sounds like two completely different things, but <laughs> in my head. But they it could work. So I'm like, I've been like playing around with that. I'm just like, I don't know which one to do to do. I don't know what to do here. Yes. Oh, actually I do have tea, but that lovely pride mug, let's go. I made myself some mint tea. Which is just fantastic. Do love myself some mint tea. Okay, we're go we're, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. You're doing okay. Someone who is a non D and D playing dice goblin, you totally get it. Yeah, I have three different colors. I only have the three sets. Okay, I'm not. Let's go. I'm not. I'm trying not to, because I always want to. Every time we're at the store, I'm like, I want to get more for no reason, because I never get to play anymore. But, like, I have the like a green, a blue, and a red, and my husband calls it, like, the three starter Pokemon uh, colors. Unintentional. I just really liked the marble look to them. <laughs> and I found 
of different ways to use my dice, so fine. I don't care. I like having all the different colors. I want more, though. I want more. <laughs> uh, what kind of crafts do you do? Do you dabble in a number? And that goes for anybody. If you'd like to, to share with us what your your craft is, or if you're more of a a nerd gamer, or if you're none of the above and you're just hanging out, then I mean, like, that's cool too, man. It's cool. I love it. <laughs> you crochet? Ooh, what do you like to crochet, Izzy? What's your thing? Do you do you have a thing? I, I can't see it. Whenever anybody asks me that, I'm like, well... <laughs> everything. Everything and anything. Let's go. <gasps> you make toys? Oh, that's so fun. I love that. You have 12 sets and way too many D20s to count. I'm bit, but they're so fun. <laughs> I don't blame you. Honestly, I bet you have some really cool looking ones too. Like, why not? Why not? Be the non D and D nerd. Well, non D and D playing nerd you can be. ADHD mood crafter. I mean, whatever strikes the interest, right? You gotta let it go. You gotta you gotta let it just come to fruition and show all of that artistic joy. Just <laughs> bring it out there. All right, where one, two, three. This one. All right, we get to roll again, finally. <sighs> We're at row 20, which is like the base size slash pattern of the pattern. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. There we go. Lovely. All right, place your bets now. What's it gonna be? Hashtag let it go. Yes, let it go. <laughs> You're currently working on some crochet flower bouquets. Oh, yes, I do love crocheting flowers. I do, I do, I do. I made, um, I have a handful of of uh, carnations that are just so easy to make when you're just sitting on the couch. So, like, that's been, like, a, a thing I'll make then. I have, like, a bunch of them now. I'm like, I, they're not on stems yet, but at least it's, like, the heads. It's great. <sighs> Two, 17. Oh, boy. <laughs> Opposite ends. You do make dice uh, cage keychains for life decisions. Oh my god. A life decision D20. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to go I'm going to I'm going to roll green cuz I'm where I have green nails today. So green D20. What number is next? What color are we doing next? 18. 18 is our next number. It's a number that has popped up before. It's another purple D10. Oh, it's this one. Is this the one we ended on last time? Oh, it is. That's funny. We've had this a few times then. Holy cow. This is like, you can see that this one has because it's like falling apart at this point. We've used it so much. <laughs> So close indeed, though. Yes, 17 and 8. eight. They're not... They're close to each other? No. They're just the same. They're just purples. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, they're really close in color. They're not. They're not. But yeah, you were really close with the number. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If I had another person guess the number that I roll, though, I think I'd freak out. I'd have... I'd have to have you guys put a bunch of numbers together and then I'd have to go go enter into the lottery or something. <laughs> I, I think that's what would have to happen. It'd be too coincidental. Okay. 
Da, 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 da. Oh, you know what's even funnier? It always ends up on the thicker rows, too. Well, that's perfectly fine. You also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, um, but there, I, I haven't mentioned it in like the past hour probably, <laughs> but there is a channel point redemption if you guys want to change that color. You have the opportunity to force another roll. And then you can change the color at any point throughout the row, which I think is kind of fun. Because why not? Why not make it even more chaotic? And it has happened a few times. Not a lot of takers. I mean, we are already changing the color a lot, but... You know, instantaneous rolls. No, that's allowed. That's fine. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I might have this go to the end. And then we'll change the color, just so it's, like, not that teeny. I'm gonna go to here, and then we'll change the color. That has happened. But I'm still doing it. We're rolling. Chaos red. Let's go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Three! <laughs> I thought it was gonna fly off of my desk. <laughs> and then it just started sliding. Three is the next color. Yes, so we have like a nice dusty bluey color. Beautiful, beautiful. Also was really close to your two. Just a one number off. Very weird, very weird number things happening today. Just very coincidental. All very coincidence. <laughs> so let me get to the end and then I will switch colors. just so that we don't have too many on top of each other well, like get that 18 out of here you've been in this too many times <laughs> so wait what number is this this is a three a rolled three Yeah, that's why I think I'm going to have to go through and check to see what what numbers haven't I rolled. Because we've rolled a three before, too. How am I, like, missing numbers? Like, I think I haven't rolled a four. Which I really want to roll because it's a really pretty color. I haven't rolled a 14. Like, there's no fours. <laughs> uh, We did a five. We have had 15. But we had six. We've had six. This is where I will change colors. Right here. Do I have a middle that I can pull from? Maybe. There we go. Whoop. Almost dropped that on Harvey. <laughs> you would have been like, what the heck, mom? You're gonna hold in your chaos goblin for now? I'm surprised. We have so many chaotic gremlin goblins, chaos shenanigan monsters, whatever you wanna call them. They're here. <laughs> I feel like my community is just built on them. It adds a little, you know, a little spice to life when you get a little chaos like that happening. This is such a muted color for the colors we have been getting. I'm I'm surprised. Because it's actually like a pretty tone, but then you put it like here and you're just like, oh, it looks so much more muted. There we go. 
You agree? Yeah, it's crazy. You know what? It works, though. I like it. I like having those differences throughout, though. It's kind of fun. Helps give it a little bit of a different mixture happening. I'm gonna try to just have all of these guys in here. It's so thick though <laughs> to crochet over. I hope it's not making it look different. I think it'll be fine. I don't feel like sewing in, all right? We're not sewing in ends because I don't feel like it. <laughs> if I have to go back and sew in some ends, fine, but I'm trying to be lazy. Make it a little bit easier on myself. There we go. That's fine. That's that's fine. Perfect. Keep it going. Nope, nope, nope. I just realized I didn't. Oh god. I just re I just I dang it. Dang it. Okay. We're going to put the colors back. I promise. I promise. But I have to frog back because I have to do a decrease on the beginning. And I totally forgot to do the decrease. I'm so glad I caught it now, though. Before we got super into this row, I would have cried. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a double crochet together. So it's a, it's a kind of a decrease. <laughs> The way it's built in, it's a decrease, but oh my god, I almost forgot to do it, and, well, I did forget, and that's awful. I did it last time, I did the same thing, but I had gotten almost all the way around before remembering that I had to do a decrease at the beginning, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. that hurt, that one hurt. I mean, I could have faked it. We could have just kept going anyways and then just been like, yeah, just do it here instead. But it's like, well, let's do it properly if I remember. Silly frog. Drives me crazy, but it's all right. We can do that. We can do it. Okay, almost there. Just trying to get back to that corner because now we have to change colors again. Yep, okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we're not even going to do a color change like I normally would. This is this this works for me. Tighten that up. And on we go. Onward. Onward I say. This is why you don't follow a pattern, besides you can't read them anyways. I mean, they can be kind of obnoxious, right? <laughs> Most of the time, I... You'll find out, um, but I do, I do like to improvise. I do like to make my own patterns, because I do have fun doing that. But... I was like, you know what? I'm going to follow a pattern for this one. Felt like it would be a good idea. 
always in little spots where I'm just like, ah! <laughs> This one's like so repetitive too that it's just like that is the one little difference is that at the beginning of the row you do that decrease and it's only for like a specific amount of time too so it's just like I don't have to think what if I'm not paying attention and I'm not thinking about it it's gonna get missed it's gonna get missed. How long have you been crocheting for? Ooh, am I on- is that my stream? Is my stream that unstable right now? I thought it just, like, buffered. I hope it's okay. What is with this instability right now? Let's just see it's, if it's me later. I'll check my settings. Alright, we're back. We're back on track. Everything's fine. Uh, we do it on time. Okay. I think I can go for a little bit longer. I was almost thinking about doing two hours and then calling it, but I think I can do it another one. I can do a little bit longer. <laughs> at least finish the row, right? And then see where we're at. Turn in a little bit. There we go. This was a bigger project putting this out for my, my affiliate anniversary, which was in February, by the way. I haven't been able to crochet up this with you guys that often, though. If we were crocheting it more often, we probably would have finished it back then, but it's been like every other week almost. <laughs> I feel like we haven't gotten to touch it in a while. But last year, did we do one last year? I don't know if we did a crochet project for the affiliate anniversary. Two years ago, we made a really cute bag together that I like. But I was like, you know what? I need another fun project that'll remind me of you guys. I needed to be somewhat chaotic to truly represent us, but also cozy to, again, represent us. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting into a flow and I'm flying and then I realize it and then I'm like, Ugh, I gotta slow down for a second. <laughs> there we go. All right, one full row down, five more, well, not row, one full side down, five more to go. And then we'll be at row, we'll be finished with row 20. I'm pretty sure this is row 20. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, this is 20. And then I don't think I don't think it's going to change much after that. We just have to figure out how many more rows we need to do. And then it changes up. <laughs> Glorious. There we go. So then I'll probably have to fold it and then we'll check the size after this one. And I'm debating because I was I was planning on doing like 15 around. But I'm kind of thinking it needs to be more like 13. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really big armed. And I was like, I kind of want it to be a little thinner. but So we'll see once we get there. The decrease kind of also helps with sizing the arm part a little better too, which is nice. But the bigger deal to me is the length of the arm. And I don't know if there's going to be a way to lengthen the arm after it's like together and if you just lengthen that side because you're going to lengthen the bottom if you want it longer but I don't think there's going to be a, like a oh yeah if you want the arms to be longer you like lengthen that side I know I want to put a cuff on it to kind of like bring it in at the at the wrist so I think that's going to be the, the bigger issue is how long is it? Because then I have a feeling that the arm is going to be a bit wider to get the length right. It's all the measuring game at that point. <laughs> I mean, hell, if I have to block it at the end too, it probably will get a little bit bigger from blocking it. So I could always count on that a little bit. I don't want to count on that for too much, but. It might sit nicer if I block it. to the end of this side. <laughs> keep wanting to say row. I'm not the end of the row yet. We're nowhere near. We got four more sides. Then actually, the next color is going to be neutral, so I'll throw the D6 for that one, but that's not a big deal. Because according to this, let's see, so this is without adding any more ex like rows to it. Once it's at 20, it's going to be what they call a size extra small or small. Then the size up for medium slash large, you'd add They put the parentheses in a weird spot, so I'm trying to figure out Yeah, because it says for size extra small, small, this is where you're going to fasten off and move on to the extensions section. But, yes, it's okay, I see. You repeat rounds three and four. Sorry, I'm like reading and trying to crochet at the same time. Uh, 
medium and large, we'd add one row. But then it also says like a large to extra large. So it's kind of like if you're in between size right there. I tend to wear a large. So I'm like, I'm in between. That's where I'm at. So we might add one or two rows. Extra large would be two, two X, three X would be three, four X, five X would be four. And then six X, seven X would be five. I'm still debating on that length. I kind of want to, I might peek further in to the pattern and see what do they do for the the arm part. If like, is that going to be like the right size? It doesn't need to be extended. I mean, I don't really mind like a three quarter sleeve, but if it's at like an awkward length where it's just like, it's neither a three quarter sleeve, nor is it a full length sleeve, is it going to annoy me? <laughs> But I'm wondering too, well, I mean, if I add a little extension in the back with like the squares I was talking about, because I think I'm still going to do the squares up the back. This one doesn't call for doing that, but I kind of want to anyways. That might add a little length as well to the sleeve. So I probably am not, I'm, I'm probably overthinking it and worrying about that when it's like unnecessary. I don't think we're going to have to. I think it'll be totally fine. We're just not there, and I'm just not seeing it yet. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has made a hexagon sweater before that's here. This is my first hexagon sweater. I've made others before. I've made granny square sweaters. I've made, like, a, just, like, a very plain, like, double crocheted one. I've made... Uh, I've made a Tunisian, a couple of Tunisian tops. I need to do some more Tunisian crochet. I miss it. <laughs> I haven't touched that in a while. I'm almost done with a Tunisian sweater dress. But I like put that on hold so much. I should just finish it. I need to finish it. Keep spinning us in circles here, getting it done. I think I still have the top and the dress that I made when I was younger. <laughs> that would not go on me anymore, but I still have it, which is kind of fun. <laughs> made those a long time ago. Those would probably, well, I mean, I've made ponchos too. When ponchos were like super in when I was a kid, I have a few of those that I made. And I guess that would technically be my, like my first full on wearable and hats, but I feel like hats don't count. <laughs> hats are hats. Doing good. Debating on like what to eat. We've been talking about food this whole time. And it's like made me hungry. And now I'm like, oh, what do I want to eat for dinner? <laughs> I don't think we've even talked about it yet. I was just like, oh no. Probably something easy.
but I am ready for food. Because after this, I need to watch an episode of a show my brother and I are recording tonight for the podcast. So I need to eat and watch that so I can be ready. That's why we're, that's why we're early today. <laughs> It's like one of the main reasons why I'm like earlier today. Also, I just feel like I should try to put some variation in my streams and stream times, but I figured that makes life a little bit easier. I get to that I feel like that freaking side went so fast all of a sudden I don't know how all right so we have how many more we have one two and a half two and a half more sides I'm excited because then I get to to fold it up and we get to kind of think about it and do some math and <laughs> figure out if it needs to get bigger because I think I'm well I'm technically using because I think they do call for a four-worsted. Uh, yes, so they do call for like a four-medium with the yarn as well. But the one that they used looks like a lighter yarn anyways. I mean, you, you gotta think, like, any make, any type, they're all gonna be a little bit different than each other. And I feel like the one that the person used looks... Like, more of a sport, or at least it's a lighter weight. Um, even if it is called four, because of, like, the four. <laughs> Dude, you brought your bone in here. I was like, what are you doing over there? Um, theirs just looks a little bit lighter, so I always feel like, okay, maybe I'm using a thicker weight, too. So we'll have to see if mine matches up with theirs. But this will work. I mean, I did check my gauge many, 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 many rounds ago. And I think it's it was working out properly. I feel like you could definitely do this in like a bulky weight too, and it would be really good. <laughs> One, it would probably work up way faster. Uh, two, I feel like it'd be super cozy. It's like a soft, bulky weight. go. I think this is going to be a very productive Whip Wednesday. <laughs> nice and productive. Get as much as we can done, right? You guys working on any projects for Whip Wednesday? Let us know. What are you making? What you're crafting? What are you doing? Tell us all about it. If you want to share a picture, feel free. Uh, I don't know if it's put a link in chat recently but you are you are very welcome to join the discord and show off your work we have a little crafty corner just for that hell if you're working on your stardew valley farm because of the update last week tell us all about it <laughs> how is your farm going i think that counts because i've been obsessive over that game now We've been playing it a lot together. I'm just, I'm hearing the music again. So of course it's making me go, yes, Stardew, yes. Okay. Mm. 
almost to the end of the side. We'll have to spin again. <laughs> I can feel it like tugging on me. You can feel that pull. You're like, all right, fine. I'll, I'll move everything around to the other side. What are you doing over there, Harvey? Goofball? <laughs> Sorry if you're hearing a bunch of snorts, because that's what he's doing. He's sniffing and snorting and being a dork. What? Leave that alone. Being a little nosy. If anybody needs a, a break, make sure you're giving yourselves a break. Stand up, stretch, you know, give your arms a second, shake them out, drink some water. I felt like a big sigh, heavy, like a heavy sigh. I was like, <sighs> and I was like, okay, maybe I could use a stretch. <laughs> but make sure you're doing that for yourselves. Don't wear yourselves down or out. Where we at? Where we at? Close. We're getting close. We're almost there. I mean, my guess is that we're going to do at least one more row. But probably two for good measure. But <laughs> I still want to see. We'll have to measure my arm length too. Just so I can get a better idea. Okay, come on. And spin! I'm getting tired. <laughs> Sitting at my desk doing this wears me out. I could crochet all day, but I like being able to adjust and move and go into different areas. But for you guys to be able to see me, I have to like bend over my desk. <laughs> and it's making me tired. Uh... Okay. 
Okay. We just have one more side to do. Ba ba da ba. timing I think I feel like we we're flying today I feel like we've gotten a bit done hopefully if you're working on any projects alongside me they're going well you're feeling good about them? Okay. That's it. That's all we have left. <laughs> At least for this row. Uh, could you imagine if that's all we had left for the entire project? I think I'd be so happy. Nah, this is fine. Got so much more to do. So much more to make together. Oopsies. Okay. I'll probably move a couple of things off of my desk. So we're going to get this guy folded up. We can see the size in my... Okay, good. I have my tape measure right there. Well, yeah. We can see how everything is adding up for us. Oop. Yes. Okay. One more. And attach. There's another row down. Beautiful. Loving it. Okay, so so this side is more the arm side. So you're going to fold it in like this. From corner to corner. And then it kind of just falls into place. So then this corner goes to the opposite corner. And we're going to have ourselves a lovely L shape. Okay, I'm going to move this here so it's out of the way. Turn it this way. Maybe to get out of the way too. There's so much on my desk. Move it out. Move it out of here. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love these colors together. It's so good. It's so good. Now you can kind of see how it does shrink a little bit on this side. That's the arm side. And then this is going to be the front. And I mean, honestly, if we liked this side better, it doesn't matter because you could, this could be the left arm. It could be the right arm. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then the other one's going to get attached. And you can see all the Harvey here that's getting attached to me here. Okay. <laughs> so. And like I said, it's going to have a little give when I block it all at the end. But. Let's see. So from here to here, that's 25. What am I? I always hate doing this part because it's just like, ugh. 
Oh, that's actually, okay, that's not bad. All right, cool. Okay, so that's fine. I know it was like a really like awkward way of doing it, but I mean, it, that helps with the, with the sizing here. So over here from armpit straight up, that's about 12. So if we do another, they're about an inch, right? So we'd end up at like 13 or 14, depending on if we wanted to do one or two more rows. Now, another thing you can do with this, which I might do my, for me, is attach some safety pins. Do I have any out? Oh, I do. Good job. Good job, me. I have some stuff right there. Because if we attach some of these safety pins at the top, I can kind of get an idea of how it'll go together. Like I said, this is the technically like the small. This is the small side. I don't know where this would end up being sewn up, but I can at least try anywhere. I'm just gonna kind of put it together. As long as it stays somewhat together, it gives us an idea, right? It's kind of the plan. Because it won't be sewn all the way across. That's why I'm still thinking it needs a few more inches, but the cuff is also going to add some space. And I have a feeling the cuff will probably be like about this, you know, so hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on my right arm. <laughs> Give us an idea. Obviously, it's not perfect. Yeah, see, I think I put this one too close. I might as well switch so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's fine. But it kind of gives that idea, right? I have it on almost. See, I'm not sure where the shoulder ends up because if this is going to be like down the middle, right? Because you could put, I mean, I would say you could put buttons on this, make it into like a full on cardigan. Oh yeah, maybe this is okay. Because then that's where the cuff would be. So we'll probably just do one more row. I'm like, hmm, I don't feel like I could wear a small, but now I'm like, hmm, maybe? Otherwise, it comes over here, and that's where it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be, like, down the middle. But it looks really pretty. I'm not going to lie. I love these colors. <laughs> Sorry if you couldn't hear me well while I was up there. But I do love these colors together. This is fantastic. So I'm thinking maybe just one or two more rows just to kind of solidify it and make it feel better, but... The thing is, is like this, you can add length to it from the bottom, but I'm just like, I kind of like the size. I don't even know if I need that. Victory Screech! <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Welcome on in. How you doing today? How's your Wednesday? Working on any fun projects? <laughs> I'm like on the fence whether to do another row. I think part of me is thinking, well, maybe we don't have to figure it out right now. What if we just start the next, you know, we just do the next hexagon and then we can kind of put them together just to see how that looks. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Let's just make the second one and then we can kind of decipher it from there. I might have to read, sew that guy in. But I love these colors. Oh, it's a little blurry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Now you can see it in all its glory. <sighs> Going pretty well. You're into, oh, you're into Planet Zoo at the moment. Oh my God. How is your zoo? Where, where is the zoo? Tell me more. I need to know everything. What animals do you have? 
details. The details are necessary. You've been playing so much and you're trying to master it. You're struggling. Oh, no. The struggle with Planet Zoo, though, the, the learning curve. That learning curve, right? <laughs> there is so much to learn and it can be just obnoxious. The Capybaras. <gasps> They're so sweet. Did you make them like the best little marshland? <laughs> I think that's the one that like people can walk through too, right? I know I have in my zoo I had where like it was like a little bridge that you could walk over <laughs> to see the capybaras. I thought that was kind of fun. I need to get back into that. Don't you start. I'm already obsessed with Stardew right now. With Stardew Valley. I, I don't know. I don't know if I need another obsession at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of debating. I think I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this. And then uh, we could we could kind of roll for the next one. We could start the next one. Because I think that'll be better for us. And then I can decide if I need to go however many more rows. But at least we have the base for each side, I think, is what I'm going to plan on doing. So that's cut. We'll do this. The jacket looks so pretty. I know! I love the colors! Thank you! <laughs> Get it. Oh wait. Look at it. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love these colors. Gorgeous. So that's one side. We finished. Well, we 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 quote unquote eh, eh, finished it. Maybe. I just don't know if I need more rows or not. <laughs> That's what we were debating on when you came in. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I think I'm ready just to make the other side to see how it goes. This is a great picture. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very silly. All right, so, which means that we should roll and then we can uh, do a couple of rows that way. But I love it. <sighs> it's very enjoyable. Let's fold this guy up. Let's put this over here. Oh, but if we get it started, then I'll feel like um I feel like I'm ready for it then. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, back to here. You don't need to see me gigantic. Unnecessary. So if I go back to the start of this. <laughs> So we have to roll again. So we're going to start with a color. And the first two rows I did the same color just to make it easy. Because, like, the first row is just, like, the little tiny little circle, like, that big. It's, like, a quarter. Um, da -da 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 yeah. So there we go. I mean, if we can get through four. Do you think I can get through four more, like, four rounds just to feel like, there it is, we're ready? Uh, let's, I'm going to roll blue. We're going to roll blue. Oh god, I moved my camera and I didn't really mean to. I was just going to slightly adjust it. I think we're okay. Alright, ready? We start with two! Should we start with two? <laughs> Do I need to re-roll? That's the blue. This is two. <laughs> we we had two today already. It was like this one right there. So we're starting it off with this one this time. I kind of like it. I like that idea. Bringing it all together. I'm still, I'm surprised, but this is good. Cause this was a new color that we hadn't touched yet in this guy. Re-roll, how dare you? If you really believe that, use your channel points. If somebody, if you guys think I should re-roll for the beginning of this, this hexagon, use some channel points, force it. Force it. Otherwise, this is what you get. You get a two. <laughs> 
I mean, all of these colors are going to be reused, right? Because we have, uh, let me show it this way. It'll be easier. We have our colors right there on my bulletin board. Because it's just an easier spot for me to see them all. Which we haven't used them all, but they all are very cohesive. So it's totally fine. But if you really think we should re-roll for the first color, I'm totally down for it. You just have to force it. I'm not giving in this time, guys. You can't make me. <laughs> what are you doing? I still have to, like, grease up my microphone. My microphone stand, because it's all squeaky. It's all squeaky. All right, we'll keep it there so you guys can see what we're making. But we'll start it. We're getting into it. The second side... I'm scared and excited all together. Oh, uh, didn't I start with a, a magic circle? No, I'm starting with a magic circle. You can't stop me. Might need to adjust this because I'm always up higher. I need to get a camera that auto adjusts for me here. <laughs> I think that would be better for you guys. That was one. So right now we're making the side, so it's going to have six. So right now it has three. It's going to have to repeat five times. Let's see. Three. There's the fourth side. Fifth side and sixth side. If you guys wanted the pattern, by the way, do exclamation mark pattern. I can put it in there for you can so you can see. Um, but it is that hexagon cardigan pattern. That's the one that I'm using. They have a free online version as well as a paid as a paid uh, PDF version if you prefer. go you're already warbling <laughs> okay so I think I have to connect it right let's see begin yes because this isn't done in continuous rounds I do have to slip stitch all right and like I said the first two rounds I did the same color on the first what side so I'm gonna do the same thing here just because it's like this little thing and then the second one I don't know it was I, it was a choice and I'm sticking with it <sighs> okay so now it's double crochet in each double crochet and then the chain spaces so that one counts there Each corner is going to be two double crochets, two chains, and then two double crochets. Oh, this is exciting. We're actually starting on the second side, which sounds kind of nuts to me because I put so much work into that side. It's like, how, how, how is there so much work left to do? <laughs> But it was only half of it. It was only half of the cardigan. Another corner. See, now we're going to be flying through the rows again. That's going to be the best part. We're going to have, it's going to feel like there's tons more color changes. Because <laughs> the rows are smaller. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 
one, two, three. It is funny that we ended up starting with blue each time. Now, the other blue is a bit... What's this one? It's a lighter one. But I, I still kind of love that. We ended up starting with blue twice. <laughs> Maybe I'm just rolling horribly. Maybe that's what it is. The warping is correct, by the way. Um, you might not have seen it happening as much with the big piece because it was kind of like flat on the table. Um, but that is what it's supposed to do. It is supposed to warp so that the size is right. <laughs> you can actually see how the it already folds properly. but it won't lay flat and it's going to look funny. <laughs> I will promise you I am doing it correctly. right because that's a corner so we have to do it here too okay i gotta make sure because all of a sudden i just it just didn't feel right slip stitch again now we get to roll yay okay what do you guys think it's gonna be what number between 1 and 20 are we about to have it's like a little star right now <laughs> and since well now we got well we got two more rows right before I before we're gonna be done probably but i'll do i'll do the i'll do the big guy this time we'll do the we'll do the big crocheted crocheted one and the next color is 14 14 which is like a lavender color is this one wait is that that's one that we haven't done yet oh yes okay <laughs> Like a pretty light lavendery color. Yeah, I'm pulling from the center, just makes life easier. Okay. Already much different uh, than what we we did on the opposite arm here. Um, but I think that's good. I think that's uh, that's fine. I want them to be different. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Icarus. Welcome on in. Thank you for that hydrate. How is uh how's your day going? How's your Wednesday? <laughs> Everybody hydrate with me. Especially if you haven't. Still making some keychains? Nice. Love it. Getting those whips in. You made a duck! Ah, oh, I love that. Ducks are so cute. <laughs> That's really fun. Ah, yes. Okay, this is my first chain one. 
and double crocheted row. There we go. There we go. So we go all the way around with this guy. I'm so excited that we've started this side now. This is great. You snapped your crochet hook? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I have done that. I, I have been there. Harvey, get out of there. Hey! found a box. He's like pawing at it. I'm like, there's nothing in there. Anyways, I have definitely done that before, especially if you're using like a smaller hook and if it's like, like a, uh, like what is it? The aluminum that's a bit more malleable. They tend to bend. Oh my God. I have definitely done that. Good thing you had it taped already before it snapped. Oh no! Hopefully you have one uh, to replace it with or you're gonna have to get some new hooks. It is the aluminum one? Yeah. I always feel like they bend easier. <laughs> it drives me kind of crazy. If I'm doing something that's really tight, and it has, um, it's like tiny and tight. And then I'm like using one of those hooks. I'm so afraid of doing that again, where I like bend it or snap it. <gasps> you can't find them? No. Oh no, you can, you can do it. You can find them. I'll be thinking, we, we got this. We're going to find your hooks. <laughs> They'll show up. They will show up and you will be good to go for the, for the next, for the next duck. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't, I didn't put two, right? I only put one? Okay, good. All of a sudden, I'm just like, I'm not sure. Chicken nugget ad, ooh. Don't make me hungry. <laughs> I'm already hungry. Not a big McDonald's fan, though. There's something about McDonald's. I'm just like, I just don't like it as much. Fast food has gotten so expensive, too, which is really silly. Okay. Almost there. These are, these, see how fast these rows go? Versus, versus the, the ones where we're like 20 rows out. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest difference right there. 20 rows takes a half hour. One little row is like taking like a minute or two. <laughs> Which I think is funny. You're guessing that I'm making a sweater? What gave you that idea? The title? <laughs> Hi, Mooningham. How's it going? Welcome on in. How are you today? You are correct. We are making a sweater. We are on the second half of it. You're buying yourself a new set? Yes. Do it. Do it. You may as well. You deserve it. You're doing such a good job with your crocheting. Always fun to get some new sets and have at least a couple that are available. I always end up putting my hooks with the project and then I go, where the heck is the hook I need? And then I don't know where it is and I don't know which bag it's in. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. You were right. Yes, you were right. <laughs> Making ourselves a sweater. I can show you guys what it is too. If anybody's missed it, I'll show you what we've 
We just did the one side. We finished up row 20, and I'm thinking I might have to do one or two more rows so it's the right size, but I figured why don't we start the next side today just for funsies. Got a few more colors in and everything, you know? <laughs> Go that through. We just started this side, and that's what the colors can came up to be. So we're gonna be rolling again in a second. But before we do, I'll show you guys the other side so you can see how the colors go together. I think it's turned out so pretty. I'm very excited. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. So start guessing what number between 1 and 20 will I roll next, uh, and then... Ta-da! So this is, this is the first side so far. So you can see, like, that's the arm. <laughs> I might actually have it turned. So you can see, like, that's the arm. <laughs> I love the colors together. I think it's so pretty so far. So we have a nine and a five. Okay, so we're thinking we're low. We're, we're thinking low numbers or 13. Okay, okay. Lucky number 13, right? <laughs> Come back this way. Also cheap, some cheap hooks. I mean, sometimes, you know, if, you're gonna, if they're gonna be your extras, why not? Get some, get some nice cheap hooks. Always good. Always good. Okay. Oh, since it's the last roll of the day. <laughs> Let's see. What's it going to, um, I'll watch. I'm going to say it's the last roll and I'll be like, well, we could do another one. We could do another row, right? It's always another row, another row. Okay. Roll. Do, 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 do. The number is 10! What is 10? Have we done 10? I don't think I've rolled 10 yet. <gasps> I don't think we've done this color. I mean, it's it's really similar. It's like a shade of this greeny color, but it's darker. Like buried in here because I haven't done it. I think it's this one. Let me make sure. So 10. Yes. All right. This is our next color. It looks a little bluey on this on this one. Here, let me show you. That is our next color. Get excited. Let's do this. I like how we had every shade pop up now. Oh, did my brother just text me? Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, perfect. We're good, we're good. We have time. To continue on with our adventures. Ba -ba -da -ba. I love I love doing this. This is this is a really fun project to me because I love getting to see what pops up next, and it's r at random, and I'm not like influencing it at all, and that's my favorite part where it's just like, okay, I just have to do what it says, right? <laughs> Whatever it says is the next thing. I have to make no decisions. It's my favorite part. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, wait, do I I don't have to decrease yet, do I? <laughs> is this a is this a decrease row? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, it is. Okay, good. So at least I paid attention to that. So we have to do a double crochet together as our first stitch. I've learned my from my mistake, at least for now, until we get like midway into the, the garment and I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot to do that again. Let's frog. Don't need that. Don't need that. I thought it didn't come till later, but apparently we did it right at the beginning. <laughs> Oh, these are fun colors together. I kind of like it. The next color after this one will be one of the neutral tones. Because I like just having that spattering of neutral colors in between. I even think with the neutral colors, what colors haven't come up? Ooh, that tan color hasn't come up. I think, and then white was up for like a little while, and then you guys decided to change the color on me. So it's barely in the sweater. <laughs> it is barely in the sweater. But otherwise, I think we've had every other color, right? Have we had the dark gray? Actually, I don't think we've had the dark gray either. So we haven't had the tan or the dark gray. Interesting. All right. Go. So we're getting our last color of the day in. I'm glad it was like a bright color. <laughs> it looks so good. But we have a long way to go until this guy is done. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not a corner. Why did I think that was a corner? Okay, I didn't do that anywhere else. <laughs> I was about to put two in there and I was like, no, no, no. Because right now I'm just double crocheting in every double crochet space as well as chain one space. So it goes all the way around. Because at this point, now we're going to do every other row is going to be three and four just over and over again for 20 rows total. Yep. And we all know how long that took us. So it's going to take us a while to get back to that point again. But it'll be so worth it. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to love it.
For a second, I thought I missed a stitch on the last row, and I was like, no, 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 that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm getting tired, because I'm just like, wait, wait, second guessing, second guessing. All right. Oh no, we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost to the end of the row. And I am starving. I don't know about you guys, but I could use some dinner. One here. Perfect. Okay, so now let me just slip stitch into this guy. And we have done it. We've started the next side. I'm so excited. So as you can see, this one also is doing that same thing where you can't really lay it flat very easily. <laughs> but that is okay. Because then these sides go together. And we end up with this. And it's so tiny. It's like it's for a little doll. But then it ends up being gigantic. And actually, you can wear it. So we started it off. It looks, it, it's looking great. The next color is going to be a neutral tone to go around. Should we do it? Or should I be, like, done for today? I feel like I need to be done. I'm tired. It's over three hours. <laughs> Which is my normal time for streaming. So there we have it, folks. The big one, the little one that is being started. Let's get over here for a second. And let me find somewhere we can go. But thank you guys for joining me. I hope, I hope you had fun. I'm starving. We're going to take you somewhere fun, so stick around for the raid. Tomorrow, my, pl well, my plan tomorrow is to, to do some more Stardew. And then Friday will be s either Stardew, if you guys choose it, because I kind of want to, or we'll do something different, you know, mix it up a little bit. We could do some Skyrim, Sims, Planet Zoo, whatever. We could have some fun. Maybe we could do some more crocheting. Always a good time. Let me see. Oh, I do have a couple people we can go to. Perfect. Perfect. All right. What are you doing today? <laughs> Make sure they're going to be on for a little bit longer, but I will take you to another crafter. Uh, again, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic Whip Wednesday. Hope you got a lot of stuff done. If you were getting anything going, make sure to follow me on all my lovely socials. Go check out my podcast. Uh, they're very long, so good for crafting. You know, when you're just getting getting going, you can just sit and listen to it. It's, it's, it's perfect. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Join the Discord and the silly community that we have here, and then go subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm trying to, to get some more stuff up there and get going, and um, I'm having fun with it. So, yeah, enjoy all of the lovely, lovely content. We're gonna go say hi to Rabbit of the Moon, so make sure to use that raid called Use That Sub Raid. I'm gonna get this raid started. Are you working on a top two? <gasps> yes. Oh, it's even better. I think it's even better. Are you, are you making some cosplay? Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. 
<laughs> Let me get this started. I feel like all awkward right now because I'm trying to get this where I'm going. Okay. Perfect. Raid has started. Let's get out of here. Last thing I'm going to say is keep crafting and keep gaming. Stay lazy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Happy Whip Wednesday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Every time. Every time.